gents. That last auction was an exciting one, so let's make this one even better. I'm the only suspect. Bullshit. Why are you so hellbent on making me the bad guy? Because you are. Six months ago, I let a man off the hook. He slaughtered his whole family. I'm not a killer. Expo was a 2019 action drama from writer-director Joseph Ambar. It features Derek Davenport in the protagonist role of Richard Evans, an ex-military special ops soldier, back from his jungle excursions and still having PTSD nightmares about his time in service. Evans has only recently pulled himself and his younger sister up out of the gutter having lived on the streets for a long period of time. He served his country, but now his country won't serve him. With the help of an old Jungle Forces buddy, Evans gets a roof over his head and a job as a driver, which enables him to be able to put food on the table for himself and his sister. He has a history of theft, possession of narcotics and assault though, and when he is late one day for his driving job to pick up a girl passenger, the police come down hard on him after the girl is abducted and he is prime suspect. Evans has no option but to go out alone to try and find the girl in order to clear his name. What he uncovers is a human trafficking ring set up through the dark web to auction young females like merchandise. When his sister falls victim to the same dark web twisted organisation, Richard Evans goes all out super soldier, pill popping to enhance his senses and strength thanks to a former medical officer superior providing for his needs. Evans goes from jungle soldier to urban vigilante. Classic low-budget action set up to get excited for, but rather inexplicably, filmmaker Joseph Mbar seems intent on regularly pacing proceedings, and in so doing, all too often diminishes the potential of the piece by serving up no real sense of threat and a lack of real bad guys to be able to jeer at, and so leaving it decidedly difficult to get behind the lead guy. The movie is competently shot, delivering some well-rendered, bright exterior scenes and pretty well choreographed close-in-camera fight scenes, but the whole rather comes across as a no-budget punisher with roid rage. It really is a frustrating experience as the film has great potential to deliver and it cannot be simply forgiven just because of a low-budget production. Here is the incredulous thing though, in the last five minutes of the movie there is a spectacular turn of events that truly grabs the attention and suddenly things look interesting, but then the movie ends. What the heck? This is a failed and poor excuse to set the film and lead up for a sequel, but in all honesty this fantastic twist should have been in the middle of the movie. It would have propelled good word of mouth viewer escapism accolades far more agreeable to this potential Punisher come exterminator hybrid with its knockout punch twist. And regrettably, this version delivers. With great regrets in this current edit, Expo, as exposed as the ultra low budget short-falling action drama that it does not deserve to be, and sadly can only garner a 2.5 out of 10 from this frustrated action film fan reviewer. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.
け。